all is quiet and dark. Let's move up and have a look at the screen. Here we see Sonic Pie with one of my compositions, sparkling tom-toms on it. And what I'm going to do is to come across here and I'm going to switch the audio output to headphones. And I'm going to start the program playing. And let's see what happens. Here we have an array of eight LEDs on a breadboard connected to the Pi 2 which is running here, which is also running Sonic Pi. And this is an example of Sonic Pi driving Light Show Pi. A bit tricky to set up. We use the sound output, uh, the normal sound output of the uh, Pi, which is looped back and plugged into um, a USB stick which is plugged into the Pi and that is set to feed the input to the Light Show Pi program and the result is quite a nice pleasing display. A bit tricky to set up to get the levels right but it works pretty well once it's going. So there you have it. Good way to spend a couple of hours in an afternoon. Sonic Pi and Pi Light Show. Thanks for watching. I'll right, we'll have a closer look this time uh, in some lights so you can see what's actually happening. You can see the eight LEDs there and the resistors just to limit the current through them. They connect wired up to this. Um, T connector which is feeding the leads back to the GPI pins there. Uh, here's the Pi 2. You can see that the uh, there is a lead plugged into the audio output. It's actually a splitter lead. One half of it is going to this amplifier here so you can hear what's happening. The other half is routed down this cable and back up to the USB audio stick which is here. There and uh, that's going to the microphone input in there, so it's providing the input back to the Pi. Um, if we look back up at the screen now, you can see that uh, we've got the Pi running, but I've also got two further um, terminal windows. This one is running the um, Pi Light, Light, Show, Pi, Light Show Pi, and that's the program that it started off running there. And the other one is allowing me to select you via ALSA Mixer, um, allowing me to select the um, card with the microphone input which is down very very low um, it just you just need a tiny bit of signal to come in there to do it and uh, that's then ready to go so let's switch back to Sonic Pi and let's come back here and switch the headphone output on and start it running you'll hear it and if we come down here hopefully we can see the LEDs in operation again. So, Sonic Pi and Light Show Pi, a nice combination.